Power Tag 1, you are clear for takeoff. Possibly just new career opportunities, something outside the Army. Get a chance to live with the family, fly some jets, you know, okay. good career opportunities, you know, just better lifestyle. Well, um, what do you do now? Apache IP, okay. instructor pilot, so, okay. yeah. you know, uh, having the ability to live in one spot, be great, career opportunities, you know, and kind of move on from serving my country to, you know, getting into the civilian sector. My name is Larry Crafts. I'm a captain with SkyWest Airlines. I live in Salt Lake City, commute to Palm Springs. I've been with the company for 11 years, and uh, one of the chief recruiters here for SkyWest that have helped design the rotor wing transition program and our pilot pathway program. Oh, our tag, this was a, a, a phenomenal event, uh, it, and we started seeing this ahead of time. Number one, as a, as a fellow rotor head, watching our tag help mentor and prepare aviators to transition into the airlines is always a good thing. Now that the regional airlines have recognized what an asset the military helicopter pilots are, uh, you can see by the turnout the fact that every regional airline was represented here today uh, is great. I'm a first officer with Envoy Airlines. I'm uh, on the 175 based out of Dallas. Okay. I'm an Army guy for the first eight years of my career. Finished up in the Coast Guard, retired last summer, and uh, have been with Envoy since January. Transition was pretty easy. I, I was a time builder only. I needed about, I think it was about 120 hours. And Envoy and Coast told me it'd take me six to nine weeks. It took me six weeks. Got through all that training in San Marcos, Texas. Um, I finished up right before Thanksgiving and was at Envoy starting day one, January 15th. I am the manager of Pilot Pathway Programs for PSA Airlines. Our rotor transition program is for our military helicopter pilots where we offer fixed wing training and up to $23,000 paid for that. We also have a cadet program where we're partnered with 22 different schools across the United States where it offers an opportunity for student aviators um, at 141 colleges and flight schools to get to the airlines as well. I love the team at RTAG. Every time we have questions or they have questions and feedback, very receptive to a lot of things. Um, this conference, this convention, has been super beneficial as well. The attendance was, I think, definitely more than what we expected it to be. Um, but we were able to host everybody, answer, I hope, answer everybody's questions. Hi, I'm Randy Bratcher. I'm the Director of Flight Ops at GoJet Airlines, based out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Visiting the, uh, I guess, the first annual RTAC conference. Uh, I like to think ours is a little unique and that uh, we want to go where the pilot wants to go. We want to take you, if you're a guy and you're in Austin, Texas, or uh, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, wherever you happen to be based, we want you to be able to fly, sleep in your own bed at night, fly while you're in active duty, uh, so that when you leave, 
you're ready to go and, and come to work for us. Now, if you're a guy who says, hey, I don't want to do that, I want to do an immersion program, we got that set too. We don't partner with any one school. We partner with just about anybody out there. We want you to craft a program that's going to work for you because that's how we believe you're going to be successful. Well, you know, I wasn't really expecting this much of a turnout. It's, it's very impressive. Uh, I do events a lot, and I've never seen one this, this big. And, and, and as many people as excited about the industry as they are right now. Our uh, company's uh, doing a pretty good rotor to wing program, uh, and I've had the opportunity to fly with a lot on the line. Uh, they're first officers, and I'm the captain there, and um, they got great attitudes, and they're good sticks, too. You know, they, uh, they definitely learn how to fly in the military. That's, that's for sure. But uh, the best part is they got great attitudes, and they love to fly. And so I really do. Uh, when I see one on my schedule, I'm, I, I get pretty excited. Eric Sabiston, president of the Rotary to Airline Group. As military members, we all kind of try to help each other out. We all look out for each other. And we started sharing information online. And we decided that we would start this group to help veterans get into the airlines, pilots. But then we decided, well, let's go ahead and include the mechanics as well, because they're also looking for jobs. Uh, we, we saw a need, and we filled it. And the airline response has been tremendous. I think right now, some estimates have uh, uh, as much as 789,000 pilots short in the next few decades. So this is the time to make the move to the airlines. Hi, I'm uh, John Mosley. I'm a 25-year Army veteran, uh, Rotary Wing, primarily Apache. Uh, about 18 months ago, I had an opportunity to join the Rotary Transmission Program with Envoy Airlines. Uh, went through the training there in Dallas, and now I'm flying uh, Embraer 175 in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, also helping with the recruitment with Envoy and helping other fellow veterans join the RTP program. Uh, close to 100% of the uh, veterans that are going through the RTP program with Envoy are getting through all of our training, which historically about 8 to 12% uh, people off the street were not getting through our training, very challenging training. Uh, so American Airlines Group and Envoy are very happy with uh, the veterans that are getting through our program and they're getting out on the line and uh, flying our passengers safely, effectively across the United States, and North America, Canada, and Mexico. This, this has been a great uh, uh, event. Uh, all the different airlines have been here and a great uh, place for veterans that are thinking about uh, the opportunity to fly in the airlines to come here and uh, see the different programs that are out there and all the opportunities for veterans.